Our incident investigation life-preserving principle means we strive to learn from our mistakes and determine the root causes for the incident. We can then develop corrective actions to prevent future incidents. The investigation focused on three root causes of this incident. The first root cause was that the work was not properly planned. As part of our pre-planning life-preserving principle, we identify the likely hazards associated with work and plan for controls to manage hazards. In this case, the work planning should have taken into account the hazards to workers below the area where concrete pouring was occurring. The area should have been marked off to exclude workers from the hazard. An important tool to facilitate this is the task hazard assessment. The next root cause was that the workers did not recognize the hazard of working directly under active wet concrete pour. We endeavor to understand the task-related hazards for the work we are performing. As workers begin a new task, they should ask, The final root cause the investigation determined was that our worker was not properly trained to recognize the hazards of this particular type of activity. Our life-preserving principle of safety orientation and training means we train every worker to understand the hazards they will encounter on the job. Workers on a construction site are to be trained in construction-related hazards so that they're aware of the risks that are present on the site. In this way, we are able to continuously assess the work activities to see that the hazards are being controlled. Management must assure that all aspects of the work activities are planned for, people are properly trained, and that we take the time to assure safety briefings are conducted on the site to describe hazards and controls to manage those hazards. If a stop work is called, the management team investigates and corrects the concern. As part of management commitment, we want to communicate what we learned with the leadership team responsible for the project or operations where the incident occurred. An executive incident review is vital to aligning the expectations of the leaders from the executive down to the line supervisor on understanding what happened and how it will be prevented in the future. Our ability to recognize hazards in the field, in an office, when driving, and at home will help us reduce the chances of an incident or injury both on the job and off the job. Take care of yourself and your co-workers. We want to go home to enjoy our family and friends. We believe in safety for life.